hello students now let's continue our class with chapter number 9 this is a first part of chapter number 9 that is algorithms and flowchart now let's begin algorithms and flowcharts now in this chapter we are going to learn about algorithm what is algorithm and its significance and what are flowcharts and the rules of flowcharting then what are the rules that we need for flowcharting that we are going to study in this chapter now this is now chapter number 9 algorithms as you know and flowcharts as you know have been in flowchart if you are going to study in this chapter now you all know by now that computers are capable of performing many simple as well as complex tasks you have also learned that a program is a set of instructions given to the computer in order to perform a specific task koy kari gum ba thabak ama koy to ge hai matam da koy na program oy na ta ka set of instructions in a computer the pisala ka na computer da koy na command to matum da thabak ko dimo pang thuk ko dai ni ma okay now in order to make sure that the computer performs a given task correctly koy na pi ki ba command sing do computer the pi ki ba do chum ni na ta ka chum dai have do koy na khang na bi do makta it is important that the instructions given to the computer are in the right order koy na mathang manau nai na pi ki na ta ka so that it may perform the given tasks correctly. Now let's see what are algorithms here. An algorithm is a specific set of instructions used for carrying out a procedure or solving a problem. Problem number solve to the step by step procedure. algorithm for instance to buy a notebook you need to follow the steps given below when i did we need to buy notebook i'm going to use my notebook suppose i'm going to use my old notebook to look at and i'm going to use the steps to carry it over there the algorithm has to be used to carry it over there when i'm going to use any port like that now the book the textbook here is giving as to buy a notebook from a stationary shop. Stationary shop on the gift. When a notebook on the label, example, the one like textbook, you know. But you can apply any work which you do daily at home. You can apply algorithm for that. Nana algorithm jay to madrasum apply to way at. Just in a simple day to day. The tham tham no tau viva thabak in the kuna algorithm pandewani. Now let's see here what are the steps and what is. How to write an algorithm? Now, step number one. The first step we have to do is take money. Now, because without money, we cannot buy notebooks. Notebooks are going to be high out of the way. They are going to be high out of the way. They are going to be high out of the way. They are going to be And go to the stationery shop. Now, after taking the money from our father or from our mother or from our, any of our elders, okay, what we have to do is we have to go to the stationery shop because we can get that notebook from the stationary box we know that we can get a notebook from a stationary shop so we have to go to the stationary shop but with the money but how to lower the money to the stationary shop to set up the data stationary shop to set up the data to learn the pile and the notebook to know the law or have the law or home delivery and the who's again who's it the we call it engine in the home delivery like what you call when your phone or gonna go or that or that or one thing in that but here is we have to go personally to the stationary shop then after that step number two is tell the shopkeeper what you want so keep it in the family for the pain of the family to pencil la pain la ink la or whatever you want you have to tell the shopkeeper i'm gonna pay me for two shopkeeper to come down to the higher matunda to come down on the family for the period in it then take the then so keep it in the is how to be any then and a palm for the high any but and a palm for the higher matun down and a palm for to take the notebook or book on a low any then notebook to lower money now of course you have to pay the money then for how do obviously you have to pay the money and pay how to give the amount and notebook on a later one now then take the balance amount from him then and the piece of a person that's supposed hundred rupees not a billion currency now if your notebook cost of his 60 then the shopkeeper has to return 40 rupees so you have to take the balance money balance amount that is the 40 40 rupees from the 
shopkeeper, nana bill pesan tu nana mungkin dah hundred rupees not out pilih, sama macam piye mah, notebook tu nana suppose sixty rupees piye yang kalau si, then lemah ribu pesan forty rupees tu, you have to take it back from the shopkeeper, the balance amount. Okay, now in this way we can we can apply algorithm in any work in our day to day life. Kau ni jom dah, jom jom kau ni tahu riba, nanti kita tahu riba. Tahu bukan sendiri saya tu apply tu bukan cukai dia algorithm je. In any work we can apply algorithm dan you you can also practice whatever work you done at you have done at home you can apply this algorithm you can you can try at home also. Jom jom dah jom algorithm je, mana apply tu bukan tahu bukan cukai cukai dia. Okay. This is the correct order. This is a kind of matang manong na yung tawag 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 sa matang manong na sumani ito sa mga ito. Now this is known as an algorithm. Now in similar manner, steps of instructions have to be followed for many other tasks. Taba ito yung mayang isu step by step. Mayang mga tawag tawag yung kaan mga tawag tawag yung. Now let us understand with some more examples. Now let's see some more examples. Now let's see what are the examples here. Now an algorithm to add three numbers. <coughs> now, how we can add three numbers? Let's come back to the pro programming. The akoin tomutam da akoin number akum ka add to ge hagi kamain tongi. The first step is start. Programming da start album ne then stop album ne. Koi first da start. How many ko step? One step number to take three numbers. What we are going to do here? We had we are going to add three numbers. So we should have three numbers. We should have that three numbers. Koi number akum add to ge ni na dugi number akum do koi meita weya alright. Number one itu dikari kari number one itu kedua tu we are right so take three numbers number one when we add kedua number one so no we wrong then the third step is so we have the three numbers so we can start the operation that is add the three numbers we are going to add that three numbers those which we have taken okay then after that after getting the result now print the result we are after adding after doing the operation of addition here with which we will get the Sum that is the result. So we'll print the sum that is the result. Result to add to begin three number of whom add to begin result to koi na. Add or any koi na print to be na. Then end of the program that is add or any stop do ay hey tawo si koi number of whom add to re. Agi result to koi na print to re. Then stop finish. Likewise, we can write an algorithm to multiply a number by hundred. Any number, take any number, then that number we will multiply by hundred. We will multiply that number by hundred. Now the step number one is start. Then number two, step number two, take any number. We'll take any number. And after that, step number three, multiply the number which we have taken just now. We we'll multiply that number by hundred. Hundred now multiply to something any. It is very easy. Kahit yung dalawa ng kahangani ko, but if you write the program, the program will do itself. Okay, if when a number is multiplied by hundred, that is you have to just add two zeros to that number. Nana multiply to ibang number dula hundred na multiply to orakedi zero niya happy lo because hundred ta only two zeros yao yez na. Ko thousand na multiply to orakana that number dula three zeros happy ba because we have three zeros in thousand. Do maya hundred na multiply to orakedi Chicken number say that zero nika hapsan biya lo re, but we have been no need for doing that. Okay, the com the program itself will do the multiplication. Now the the now the operation for multiplication will be done here. Then we'll get the product. That is the result. Then after that we'll print the result. The multiplication of that the number by hundred will get the product. Then we'll get we have to print the result. After that, let we'll stop here. This is an algorithm to multiply a number by hundred. Now, what is the practice time? Your practice time complete the following algorithm for finding the greater of the two numbers. Yes, it means we have to take two numbers, then we have to find the greater of the two numbers. Now, first step you have to write here start. So this start if any, that's very easy here. Then the second step, what we have to do, we are Finding the greater of two numbers, so we have to take two numbers. Enter two numbers. We have to enter two numbers here. Okay. Two numbers will be given here. Then after that, compare the numbers. If the first one is greater, go to step number four. That is, print that the first number is greater than the second. That is, if the first one is a greater, then 
we will print the first number is greater else go to step number six that is step number six is print the second number is greater than the first number if the first one is not greater than the second number that is obviously the second number is the greater number the larger number so we'll print the second number is greater than the first okay then we we'll go come to the stop go to step number five that is stop if you go to step six also it doesn't matter we'll use a go to statement here go to step number five that is we'll come to the program and stop here you can practice this at home also and you can fill in the blanks here the blanks given here it's very easy the right steps involved in preparing a vegetable sandwich or you all know what is a sandwich a vegetable sandwich a non-veg sandwich vegetable sandwich or in, in making a vegetable sandwich you can make a uh, algorithm that is the steps involved and you can even you can uh, write an algorithm to prepare a tea also chalon bagi algorithm is as well as vegetable sandwich ki data then a algorithm is as well as or the steps involved to me but the kata is a or in correct order the or maybe you must have the algorithm is as well as this way you can write as many algorithm you want in a farm but in day to day life what you are doing you can write the algorithm that is the correct step by step process okay now well now let's see let's come back let's come back to the let's go back uh, let's continue our chapter with the next topic that is the flowchart let's see what is a flowchart a flowchart is a step by step diagrammatic representation of an algorithm or a process koi thabak process thamba amagi na thakana koi algorithm amagi step by step diagrammatic diagram when a picture and pictureization when a picture when a diagram when a kuni utpado adubuni kuni plot sa ai jai kuni odi algorithm ta ubi upatu kuni picture when a utpado adubuni kuni plot sa ai jai ko now let us take an example suppose a lamp and a home is not working koi yum da nangi lamp jai ya jai ka jai ko noi na table lamp you must be having a table lamp and your home I like to bagi table da table lamp thom bai ai table lamp do yan ren khase si ya da do koi dagar mati list de ko tumi ke tok si ke tak ai kamai na to ko ne have do flow chart we na will show here now what will you do you will try to plug it in plug it in again check whether the bulb is okay mai hap chal ani do ga sui sa ra ga ya bre yeng ani here is a flow chart for this process the process was lay there now it's very interesting about the algorithm and the flowchart also is very interesting if you listen carefully or listen carefully munna ta munna ta is am interesting we bene no yum da dum nang ani thabak ta nang num apply to bole mun gyan ewa no yum da suppose nang gi like pa ba gi table lem do ya dre and lords ya dre report to mai dune ya dre ra na chaka lem lem dune ya dre ra na chaka na nang gi bug to cha abra hai ba do ying dune is the ko now lem doesn't work lem che ya dre je green check to ke no lem plug in lem je koi na mai do plug to sun bene ko ese da chenjalani do ga tok plug to chalani now lem plug lem do phajana plug in to ga yeng ani no hai di plug in lem lem do plug to bio hai di chenjan biro mai je phajana yes hai di mai do phajana chenjalaga on to bi ani on to ga on to ga di on to sun biro on to ga di bulb burn yes bulb burn out bulb to chak par chak to re yani lem do plug in to matum da lem do yaad ra bane ko lem do dozen work lem yaad ra bani lem plug in to ba to do re to do gai to sam biro to ra ga di bulb to chak re biro ka gi na ga di mai do chu so hap sa la ga mai tha do bulb to la ra bani na lem dozen work hai di lem di yaad re hai ni je je yaad ra bani na plug to ba to do re ngani to do gai to sam biro to ra ga di bulb chak re ngo bulb cha ga di replace bulb bulb to sindo piro bulb to chak cha ga di repair lamp lamp do in sindio bulb to di kem to ge mai la e bulb to kem to ge ha ga di lamp do in sindio replace lamp if lamp do kem to ge mai ju thinan bi ha ga bulb to ya dar bani na bulb to bulb cha ga di bulb to ma sindio bulb to chak cha ga di lamp do in sindio ni bulb to ya ri to pra pa la kan ya ra bani na bulb to chela roi koi na lem moina sel lem 
bulb to charge di yes bulb simbiro no bulb charge kami na lendoin simbiro kena de mai di ari ben this is a very easy flowchart for uh lem whether it is working or not or the bulb is burn out or not bulb to charge bulb charge kibantu lem ya ada ba hebagi flowchart macam ni kena ko now let's continue our chapter with the next okay a flowchart is so a flowchart is called so because it charts the flow of a program program to give magi ma 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 Rhombus ni kosis na, kau diamond ni kita lihat lagi. Then this is the circle and this is the this is the line, this is the arrow line. Okay. Now let's see here what are the symbol, what are what are the symbol, what this symbol indicates. These flow chart symbols are connected by flow lines to show sequence of operations. This is an M. This is known as the terminator box. This will use in the first starting of the Flow chart and the end of the flow chart. Tapi kena sihki terminator terminator box ini. It represents the beginning or the end of the flow chart. How baga loi baga dah sihji sihji ni masih box sihji symbols. Then what is this? Input and output box. It represents the this is a parallelogram. So in input the input and output operations in a flow chart. Flow chart tu ibab magi input output operation. So sihji ni utuh ni. Then process box is a process. So, satarani, this is a rectangle. It represents the when you input A, B, lowering color number 1, 2, lowering color number 2. This is a process. So, A is a big one. Multiply to the addition, subtraction, division, and the process. So, this is a rectangle. It represents the process or the instructions to be carried out. For example, addition, subtraction, multiplication. This is a big one. This is a big one. Bal tu cak abra cak tibra, ayah bawa zikir tau buat mana? Nanti aga first number ni, second number ni cak abra yes no decision no one box decision box. This symbol is used when a decision to be made, and after that a connector box. It connects one part of the flow chart to another. Mada ni mada connector we have ni will use this connector box. Decision box then connector box. This is the flow line. That is the systematic and in correct order, the program flows. Program flow to the one European. It depicts the flow of information from one part to another in a correct manner. Okay, but I'm going to go to Now, guidelines for making a flowchart. When you flow that center, you can come to this. The guidelines for making a flowchart are as follows uh, the flowchart should be easy to follow and neatly met. Luna, Nana, when you get the money. Karena flowchart singgah sini box sini, juga we use a ruler scheme. Okay, ruler masih jangan ramai tak kata lagi karena line kita flow line kita singgah karena or a compass masih jangan ramai tak kata lagi kita draw dia pagi kau sertai dia pagi. The flowchart always flows from the top to bottom or from left to right. Left lagi, right lagi, tengah, up lagi, down. Kumpulan kena arrow heads. This is the arrow heads. Indicate the sequence of events or flow of information. The arrow is na from top to down. Kumda ini left to right. Chal ini dagger from button to up. Chal pa gi matang sula kani hang decision la akan dako loop kumbala kumatam da adu isigi arrow is na indicate to gane. Avoid intersection of flow lines for better clarity. Line amaga amaga cross off sana zay which we avoid avoid to gudam ne wakay na. Ano hang gadi? Confusion lagi kan apa? Okay, kerana berlainan kerumusan ini juga main tanda pematang lah kan ini. Aduh na, punya line nama ke line nama ke flow of lines apa punya cross tau itu ni intersect tau noida punya lah ini. Orang kata ada cara noida ni. Only one flow line should come out from a process symbol. Process symbols the people si process symbols ni lagi line nama orang kata sekarang ni ini cerita ya di. Only one flow line should enter a decision box. Di decision box sudah, soalnya cuma cangkap, soalnya cuma cangkap. 
ꯃꯤ ꯑꯃꯗ ꯋꯥ ꯃꯔꯤ ꯃꯉꯥ ꯉꯥꯡꯖꯤꯜꯂꯗꯤ ꯃꯤ ꯑꯃꯗꯨꯅ ꯀꯔꯝꯕꯗꯤ ꯁꯥꯏꯀꯜ ꯊꯧꯒꯅꯤ ꯀꯔꯝꯕꯗꯤ ꯁꯥꯏꯀꯜ ꯊꯧꯔꯣꯏ ꯍꯥꯏꯕꯁꯤ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯈꯪꯕ ꯉꯝꯃꯤ ꯑꯗꯨꯅ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯁꯥꯏꯀꯜ ꯊꯧꯕ ꯃꯇꯝꯗ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯒꯤ ꯁꯦꯐꯇꯤ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯒꯤ ꯍꯦꯜꯃꯦꯠ ꯎꯞꯀꯗꯕꯅꯤ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯒꯤ ꯍꯦꯜꯃꯦꯠ ꯎꯞꯇ꯭ꯔꯒꯗꯤ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯁꯥꯏꯀꯜ ꯊꯧꯕ ꯃꯇꯝꯗ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯑꯦꯛꯁꯤꯗꯦꯟ ꯊꯣꯛꯄ ꯌꯥꯏ ꯑꯗꯨꯅ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯁꯥꯏꯀꯜ ꯊꯧꯕ ꯃꯇꯝꯗ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯍꯦꯜꯃꯦꯠ ꯎꯞꯀꯗꯕꯅꯤ ꯑꯗꯨꯒ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯕꯥꯏꯛ ꯊꯧꯕ ꯃꯇꯝꯗ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯕꯥꯏꯛ ꯊꯧꯕ ꯃꯇꯝꯗ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯍꯦꯜꯃꯦꯠ ꯎꯞꯀꯗꯕꯅꯤ ꯑꯗꯨꯒ 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 ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯕꯥꯏꯛ ꯊꯧꯕ ꯃꯇꯝꯗ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯅ ꯍꯦꯜꯃꯦꯠ ꯎꯞꯀꯗꯕꯅ
now here ends our chapter number nine here is algorithm and algorithms and process so let's stop here for today so in the next video session class let's do the next and the last chapter that is more about the in, more about the internet okay students stay home stay safe and stay healthy